hi we were discussing about calculus let us see the meaning of differentiation here this is another important thing to understand <coughs> we started remember the way we started differentiation we started it like this there is a function f of x okay we took two points b and we took another point a we wanted to find the change in f of x in this point so what we did we did f of b minus f of a by b minus a and we call this as average change in f of x in the interval a comma b correct <laughs> then we extended this average change and we got f dash of x to be limit h tends to 0 f of x plus h minus f of x by h and what is this this if we observe closely see here what is f of b minus f of a by b minus a this is average change because i am doing it over a big interval and this f dash of x is nothing but i am doing it again i am doing the same difference by the length of the interval but it is for a small region very 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 small region here so if this is the average change what is f dash of x this is nothing but instantaneous change because it is going to give me okay let me write it clearly instantaneous change that is what is the meaning of f dash of x okay now let us take some known function and see what does this instantaneous change conveys to me okay so for example let us take a complete sine wave and analyze it so let me plot first f of x here. This is f of x is equal to sin x. <coughs> Correct? Then what is f dash of x? f dash of x we know, right? Sin x differentiation will give cos x. Correct? Now let us find that graphically what is happening i take a point here let us find let us prove that f of x is sin x means f dash of x is cos x by graphical method okay let me take some standard points here let me take some this many points and see what is happening what do i mean by f dash of x i am taking changes in f of x correct so this will be here i start the change here by the change in x and the change in f of x what is the value similarly what is the change in x what is the change what is the change so if you see let me let me say that all these are equal intervals let me say that for example this 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 all are equal intervals 
that is if this is one this is also one this is also one this is also one like that all are equal intervals now if i see what is f dash of x the value between the change this value minus this value divided by this will give me the change again in this interval it will be this value minus this value divided by the length of this interval correct so observe one point the change in x axis is always same but the change in along y axis are different okay if i draw for understanding sake the first half portion alone here of the sine wave for understanding i am redrawing it and these are all equal intervals which we have taken now observe that x the change in x here is same as change in x here 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 everywhere but observe the change in y here y is changing so much here then the change in y is less then it is further less then it is increasing in the opposite direction correct so till this point till this point the second value was bigger than the first value after this point after the this point after this here the first value the first value is bigger than the second value considered because this value is bigger than this value similarly this value this value is bigger than this value correct so the direction of change the di there will be a negative sign here see for example if i do i will be doing first value minus second value correct ra sorry second value minus the first value correct so if i do this value minus this value i get a positive difference whereas when i do this value minus this value i will get a negative difference because the first value is more than the second value so at this point at the peak after the peak the direction changes after the peak till here i will get positive values after here i will get negative and here also the positive value is in decreasing trend and the negative values are in increasing trend correct positive value is in the decreasing trend so there was positive values but less 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 positive values then we get negative values correct again see this we have equal intervals in x here okay the negative values are increasing more and more correct till this point i see always the second value is lesser than the first value so i keep on getting negative values till this point <laughs> after this point the the value finally approaches minimum and then we see that again the negative second value is greater than the first value we see a positive differences now after this point we start seeing positive differences it goes like this so when i reconstruct that i observe that this is a cosine wave correct this this is how the cos wave looks right so this is we are proving the derivative of f of x is equal to sin x as cos f dash of x will be cos x in a graphical fashion similarly if i do this again if i do the derivative of cos x i will get minus sin x it will be like this i get a minus of sin x this is i call the derivative with respect to f of x it is f di f double dash of x it is nothing but f dash of f dash of x that is called f double dash of x i am differentiated twice now let us observe some interesting results here 
when the function reaches a maximum this is the maximum value correct please observe this point is the max value of sin x similarly this value this is the mean value of sin x and when I see that both that max value and max value and mean value f dash of x is 0 so f dash of x is 0 means the f of x is either max or min now how do I know whether which is max which is min from this f dash of x is 0 means at that point f of x is either max or min so how do I conclude it is max or how do I conclude that it is min I observe f double dash of x we have the another clue here at the maximum point this is the max value point right this is the max point right at the max point f double dash of x will be negative at min point f double dash of x will be a positive value these are very important conditions to remember this is just an illustration with sine wave we have been seeing graphically how to do the f find the graph f dash of x for f dash of x is equal to sine x if f of x is equal to I'm sorry f dash of x is cos x if f of x is sine x this we saw graphically now let us and we made some few important observations now let us do some graphical analysis for a general function let me take this as the x-axis okay let me first draw a random function like this some function and I am going to do the same thing I am going to take equal intervals in x equal intervals in x and see how is the variation okay now if I find if I take these values this is some random function I have plotted and I am taking equal intervals in x that is this interval is this each and every interval is same <coughs> now if I try to plot in this interval I see that the second value will be bigger than the first value so I will get a positive change here and the change will this keeps on reducing and finally approaches here to a constant 0 and the value will approach 0 here it approaches 0 then the slope this part of the curve I see that the second value is lesser than the second value is less second value is less than the first value so I will get a negative slope again at this point it will drop to 0 then again it will drop to 0 then it keeps going again I see it drops to 0 something like this I will be getting this this will be the way the f dash of x looks and if I plot f double dash of x f double dash of x will look f double dash of x is nothing but f dash of f dash of x correct so that will be having the changes of this curve plotted again I take equal intervals here and if I complete the plot 
I leave this portion for you guys to complete. I want you guys to complete it for this portion and, and, and analyze it. And if I find the F double dash of X, again we see that we will definitely see at this point this will be this function, this part is having a negative slope, right? This is a negative slope. This is having a negative slope, correct? So, this will result, this part will result in a, here we will get a negative waveform. The, here this value, in this region, the value of F double dash of X will be, F double dash of X will be negative. Similarly, if you see, this point here is a max value and again we see the corresponding point in F double dash of X is having a falling slope, negative slope. So F double dash of X again in this region will be negative. Now let us take a mean point here. This is a mean point. Similarly this region is a mean point. In this region, if you correlate with f of x, this is having a, here we are having a positive slope in this region. So this will be resulting in a positive value here. So we finally conclude that for any function f of x if f dash of x is equal to 0 and f double dash of x is negative say at some point then that point is a what max value similarly if f of f, f dash of x equal to 0 f double dash of x is greater than 0 that is f double dash of x is positive then we can say that then at that point f of x is minimum this is very 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 important conclusion let us see couple of examples related to this. First, let us let us take a well-known example. Okay, let us take y equal to sin x. Find max and min values of y equal to sin x in 0 comma say 2 pi we already know the answer but let us let us evaluate it the max value will occur at pi by 2 and min value will occur at 3 pi by 2 this will be the max value this will be the mean value but let us evaluate using this method and prove that we are correct and let us check that our results are correct so First thing is f of x is equal to sin x. So f double dash of x will be, sorry, f dash of x will be, f dash of x will be cos x and f double dash of x will be minus sin x. Now f dash of x is equal to 0. At what point f means cos x is equal to 0. That means where, where it will happen? 
x is equal to n pi by 2. Correct? And we are evaluating up to 2 pi only. <coughs> so x can be pi by 2 or 3 pi by 2. Correct? Now f double dash of x is minus sin x. So f double dash of, we evaluate f double dash at both the points. What is f double dash of pi by 2 and what is f double dash of 3 pi by 2? At f double dash of pi by 2, sin pi by 2 will be 1 but minus sin pi by 2 so we will get minus 1 because here f double dash of x is having a minus sign remember that and f double dash of 3 pi by 2 will be sin of 3 pi by 2 is minus 1 and minus of minus 1 will be a plus 1 so this is a positive value and this is a negative value so at pi by 2 at pi by 2 we have f dash of x equal to 0 and f double dash of x less than 0 at 3 pi by 2 we have f dash of x equal to 0 and f double dash of x greater than 0. So which proves that pi by 2 is a max value and 3 pi by 2 is a min value which is according to our understanding. So our results are correct. Let us continue. Okay. We let us solve one problem. Find the max and min values of f of x is equal to x square in minus 2 comma 1 <coughs> okay so let us go by that f, f dash of x will be 2x f double dash of x will be f double dash of x will be 2 <coughs> correct now we see that for max or min value f dash of x equal to 0 Correct? We have seen this. Therefore, f dash of x is equal to 2x and this has to be 0 which will imply that x is 0. And we have a constant value, a constant positive value which implies that in the given interval f of x has only what minimum value and that is at x equal to 0 this is the solution so there is no max value only min value exists that is at x equal to 0. Okay. Just a second. Let me resolve this. Okay. It's recording. Okay, let us solve one more quick problem. f of x is equal to 8x minus x power 4. <coughs> Find max and min values in 
interval minus 2 comma 1 <coughs> so the first condition eh, first thing is we have to find the f dash of x what is that it is 8 minus 4 x cube and this has to be always whenever we find equated to equate to 0 ok so 8 minus 4 x cube equal to 0 implies x cube 4 x cube is equal to 8 x cube is equal to 2 x is equal to 2 power 1 by 3 correct now what is f double dash of x we have to find this because we cannot conclude anything from f dash x equal to 0 because we have seen that both at maxima as well as at minima f dash x will be 0 so we have to find f double dash what is f double dash of x it will be a we have to define f double dash of x is nothing but f dash of f dash of x this is nothing but f dash of 8 minus 4 x cube this is nothing but minus uh, f dash of 8 will be 0 so we will get minus 3 into 4 x power 2 there is a minus here 3 into 4 x square this is nothing but minus 12 x square <coughs> in the given interval please observe this again this is again a tricky problem in the given interval minus 2 comma 1 this is a real interval real number right all are real numbers here all are real numbers so x square is definitely going to be positive always because we are talking about real numbers correct so minus 12 x square will always be a negative number if x is real number Correct. So again we conclude that in this region f dash of x is 0 at 2 power 1 by 3 and f double dash of x is always having a negative value that means what f double dash of x is less than 0 and f dash of x equal to 0 at x is equal to 2 power 1 by 3 implies x equal to 2 power 1 by 3 is a is a max point correct because f double dash is negative and f dash is 0 <coughs>